Hello everyone, good afternoon. So we are from group 7. There's I myself, Jason Kurniawan. There's Devin Emmanuel, Fernando William, Rando, Randy Markov Lee, and Rio Stephen Chandra. So today we are going to be talking about how to live longer besides doing the healthy lifestyle. So let's get started. How to live longer besides doing the healthy lifestyle. How to live longer besides doing the healthy lifestyle means what we can do for our life to get better even without us to be focusing on doing the healthy lifestyle. So, first of all, let me explain what healthy lifestyle is. The meaning of healthy lifestyle is a way of living that lowers the risk of being seriously ill or dying early. Not all diseases are preventable, but a large proportion of deaths particularly those from coronary heart disease and lung cancer, can be avoided. Okay, after the explanation, next we're gonna discuss about how exactly we got life longer without doing a healthy lifestyle. The first thing is educate the children properly and it starts from the family. But how to educate children properly and correctly through the family? Okay, we will discuss one by one to the explanation. The first point is get used to saying help, sorry, and thank you. Saying the word help, sorry, and thank you will not make a child inferior to other children. In fact, they will be a profession for him in building relationship with other people when he grows up, even accustomed to be taught from home first. So uh, we can teach the children to get used to say help, sorry, and thank you. A children that used to say this word will easier to associate with other people. They will not feel inferior to other children or other people. It will uh, give them a happier life because they will get uh, more friends it will make them feel less stressed and depressed and it will uh, make them healthier next Tiga. okay the teach children how to care for and care for the environment pollution or flooding of course because of human activities Therefore, parents should educate their children to protect the environment since childhood. Last step, invite to play together. One way to teach and educate early childhood well is to invite them to play together. Parents and child children can do activities that support each other. So, because all three, the three steps are important, the children must learn about the environment around them throughout their attitudes and actions but take precedence with their parents from home. Uh, manage and control your stress. Um, stress is a condition where there is a certain pressure caused by something which comes within your body and it affects you emotionally. Stress does not um, always give you a full benefit. A little stress called you help to improve your brain performance and your immune system. However, long-term stress could be actually very harmful against your body. Not only that, a little bit of stress could be actually very useful for you. Stress could also help you to lose weight faster. It increases your mood, it helps you to get a better sleep schedule, and it maybe it also teaches you how to face your problems in life in a better perspective. Or in other words, to be stronger or to be a tougher person in your life. However, long-term stress or sustainable stress could be actually very harmful against your body or it worse than you can expect. So biologically, stress causes changes to the proteins in your skin and reduces its elasticity. 
This loss of elasticity can contribute to wrinkle formation. Stress may also lead to repeated furrowing of your brow that may also contribute to the formation of wrinkles. That is why it makes you look older and easier to get sick. <clears throat> so let me explain. Indeed, there are some serious problems and diseases that stress may cause. When you stress too much, you, uh, stress will attack your immune system immediate, immediately. So eventually you are susceptible to get sick or to get a general disease. For example, like headache, sore throat, fever, and something else for a long moment of time, which is very not good for yourself. Uh, stress could be also giving you a bad impact on your digesting system, which interferes your daily activity. Stress isn't a good thing either for your mental health. So in the end, you will feel more depressed easily, sad, angry, anxious, emotional, etc., which these things are difficult to cure. And the last thing that I want to mention is based on my personal experience, stress has caused me a very terrible, traumatizing, and rare disease, which has made me to be brought back and forth to the doctor and to the hospital. So I once had GERD, G-E-R-D, it stands for esophageal reflux disease. So it's a condition or a disease where your stomach acid comes above the esophagus out of the stomach and eventually it reaches out of your mouth. When I was having GERD, I felt a heartburn or a pain on my chest. I felt less energetic. My head, my head felt so heavy. Uh, it hurts when I swallow my own saliva. And the worst thing is it gives you an unstoppable nauseousness all over the time. Depends on how bad the GERD is. So what I want to highlight is if you are stressed, depressed, sad, whatever it is, don't be ever afraid to seek help and to express your feelings because you and your mental health are important and you deserve to be loved. And yeah, it's better to prevent before it's too late. That's it for me. I hope it helps. Thank you. Okay, now how to get rid the sustainable stress. Number one is look more. Because if you look more often, it makes your immune increase and reduce stress. Number two is do your hobby. Because hobbies can improve your social skills and train creativity. Number three, don't work too much. Because if you work too much, it can make you stress. Number four is meditate or work out. Because meditation improves your mood and energy while working out can maintain an ideal body weight and make you sleep better. Number five is write your own journal. Because journaling can calm anxiety and relieve depression. Number six, spend your time with family or friends. Because spending time with your family or friends makes your relationship closer and makes you feel comfortable. Number seven, watch funny or any kind of video that could possibly improve your mood. And number eight, play games and watch movies because it can foster motivation and deal with stress. Thank you. Okay, the last is the place where we live. The quality of the place where we live is also important to live longer. For example, people who live in the industrial place with live air would likely to live shorter than the people who live in the place with uncontaminated air. Uh, so, people who live in the place where there is too much pollute, where the air is not fresh anymore, will live shorter than uh, people who live in the rural place, like a uh, place with the more free, less vehicle is there, less building is there. They will have a fresher air and they will tend to live longer than uh, people who live in the place where air is contaminated. Contaminate. So 
So that's it. I hope our presentation is going to be useful for all of us. So that's how we live longer besides doing the healthy lifestyle only. Thank you. God bless. Clarpo.